Capricorns, Capricorns, what a beautiful time for you. Um, you're going through, um, my friends, I don't know how to say this. You have a heart, your heart, your face is a heart. Uh, you always looked at things and saw things and evaluated things from a heart place. You are in your heart. You see, you can be in your head, in your heart, or in your belly. And you are the, the, the heart. Uh, you are in your heart space, which is beautiful because you learn to love yourself after all these years, after all what you've been through. You learn to love yourself. You, you learn that... Uh, you've been hurt so bad that when you looked at others and everything that's going on, you're not looking to judge no more. You're not looking to uh, point finger no more. You are looking to just share with love. And you brought so many miracles in your, lo in your life because of this love uh, operating from your love, your, your heart feeling. And it is really beautiful. Those miracles appear. And I see you standing up above this heart with, with a, like a kundalini body. You know, it's like it is just a kundalini in there. You reach into a place where you are resting, where you're feeling good. You're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling good about what you accomplish. But... Uh, uh, but sometimes things just wiggle around and it put you in a spot where you feel you are stuck. You are stuck. And, and then you have enough knowledge to get out of it, you know, but it is like uh, your back is bended, you you tired, you drained, something pushing you. So you need, I would say you need a vacation. You just need to go and lay down in the sun. You need some vitamin D probably. You need something to take care of yourself because you accomplished so many miracles and your past is just filled with miracles. But you're standing up with your shoulder bended down and you're wondering, what is next? You're tired. You cannot keep up with things. Um even though your mind always working, always thinking, and you're moving forward, um, you're not. You have a seahorse. You're moving forward, but you have a seahorse. I'm not sure what's the seahorse, but if you're listening to this, just go to your phone and Google seahorse for animal, uh, spirit animal, and see what the seahorse is telling you. It is a beautiful because I feel, I see those... Um, those uh, 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 light up uh, uh, flies, you know, the fly that have this little light at the bottom and they light up all over the place. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen any of those since I was a little kid. I don't see them in here where I live, but in Lebanon, I see them all uh, fire, fire uh, fly. Is that what they call them? But they are, they light the space and it is lighting this uh, seahorse standing right there and those uh, fire lights, uh, uh, fire, <laughs> fire light bugs, whatever you wanna, flies, they are right there all over the swimming and so much beautiful energy creating and clearing and you have a knife and the knife is cutting cords. You have to cut cords with certain people. One person. One person you have to cut cord with. Because once you cut cord with that person, everything is going to flow beautifully. Let's see what, what card you're going to get. And I love that. This energy is really beautiful. Capricorn, I really, I really love how you focus on yourself, on what you feel, what you think. And... and you put the, the body, the mind, and the soul together. It is not always about you. It is not always about your ego. It is more about work and what you can give the community, what you can give others. But some of you are getting into your, your uh, in spiritual space. Okay, you attaching uh, yourself to a higher uh, uh, realm. 
so you're dealing with things at a deeper level. I love this card for you. Look at this card. It's so beautiful. And it said you are stronger than you know. You are stronger than you know. Let me see what this card says for you. I love it. Okay. Challenging situations show you your inner strengths, especially when you seem to have no choice but to handle the matter directly. This card is encouraging you to keep going and to call upon the deep well of strengths that God has given you. It is within you now and you can draw it upward to serve you like a tree drinking water through its root. I love it. While you feel may feel like giving up, this is a time to persevere. It's a self-test so that you can gauge how much strength you truly have. Additional meaning, strength, training at the gym, asserting yourself, not backing down, fighting peacefully for your health and wellness, championing a cause. That's beautiful. My friends, good luck to you. I hope this week serves you well. I hope everything good come your way. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to contact me if you need a reading. My website is right there. And just send me an email and we will figure out the 